summer break. A time for leisure. Unless you're me. Well, okay. <laughs> Ooh, I love the animation style. Right? Very Owl Housey. Yeah. Oh, God. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny, and this is my wife, Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season one, episode one of Gravity Falls, Tourist Trapped. A tourist trap is a place that's well known for attracting tourists. Yes. Specifically to, like, get money. Get their money, money typically, yeah. Them. Yeah. So, so maybe it's going to be a money-making scheme, but in terms of the show that we're watching, it's Gravity Falls. We kind of just really want to watch this show yeah. as well. Um, it's kind of the predecessor to the Owl House in a number of ways. Also, just it's been on our list for a while and our editor Gabe loves it and he will be helping us out editing wise because he's seen the whole show so we are really excited for the show but any thoughts before we jump into it I know it's a mystery I've, yeah I've heard it's a mystery show so I'm very excited about that I love the Owl House and I've loved the Owl House fan base so if any of that transfers that's gonna be awesome yeah and I'm also excited for any newcomers that are coming because I know there was a let me put it this way this was on TV when I was watching TV not many people watch TV now, so I, I hadn't heard of the Owl House until somebody mentioned it. I had heard of Gravity Falls. Interesting. So I bet there's this sect of people that maybe don't watch the Owl House or or haven't heard of it, but watched Gravity Falls as a kid. Interesting. So, Very cool. Absolutely. And if you're excited for this new series, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for Gravity Falls episodes coming every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see the extended full-length version of all of the episodes we're going to release, these episodes are all posted at Patreon now in their extended full-length forms. And make sure to engage with this post any way you can um, to get Gravity Falls off to a great start. We're super excited about the series and would love to hear from you what you were excited for us to see. Spoiler free, of course. <laughs> um, so without further ado, are we excited for episode one of Gravity Falls? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Ah, uh, summer break. So do you want cheese on that, hun? A time for leisure, recreation, and taking her easy. Unless you're me. Well, okay. <laughs> Ooh, I love the animation style. Right? Very Owl Housey. Yeah. Oh, God. What even is it? Oh. Like, is, so is the there like magical creature? creatures in my this? My name is Dipper. The girl about Dipper. Is Dipper. My Mabel. You may be wondering Mabel. what we're doing in a golf cart fleeing Brother, from sister. a creature of unimaginable horror. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. CG <laughs> tree. There's a perfectly logical explanation. <laughs> Dipper and Mabel. Ooh. Very cool. Good love info. this. Oh, people I've love I've heard info. this somewhere. Who's this? The Mystery Shack. <laughs> Dipper is a funny name. Yeah. I like that a lot. Dipper and Mabel are both really cool, like... Stan. Okay. Character, main character names. Whoa. So it does have Anti -gravity. to Anti-gravity. All right. Whoa, wait. Did Whoa. you see that? Yeah, there was a little Illuminati yeah. symbol. Yeah. A little flash of something. I think there's going to be a lot of hidden stuff in this show. Hell yeah. Looks like a bunch of cursed objects. Dinosaur? Okay. Who is this? And what is this? Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut. That's what we're going to call him? Yes. Okay, this is officially Mr. Peanut. And Mr. Peanut is the leader of the Zodiacs. Yes. It does and not... they are Llama, Shooting Star, Broken Heart. Glasses. 3D Glasses. Question. Ice. Ice Bag. Lobster claw, claw tree, tree star devil. bullseye. Oh. <laughs> and, Hand with extra fingers. Yeah, what? Yeah. Weird. Okay. Cool. All right. So that, that clears it up. Let's rewind. Great intro, though. It yeah. Began when our parents decided we could use some fresh air. They shipped us up north to a sleepy town called Gravity Falls, Oregon, to the stay at our great way. uncle's place in the woods. I love Oregon. Oh. This attic is amazing. Check out all my splinters! Oh. <laughs> and there's a goat on my bed. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Yes, you can keep chewing on my sweater. <laughs> <laughs> you. Yay! Grass! Yeah, definitely. Boom! Ah! 
<laughs> and then there was our That was the same logo on the hat. What was? The claw. Ooh, let's see. He is the star on his hat. Boom. Oh yeah. And then it is there the was claw. our great Uncle Stan. Uncle Stan. <laughs> Our uncle had transformed his house into a tourist trap he called the mystery shack. Okay, perfect. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, the sass crotch. <laughs> oh, jeez. And guess who had to work there? And then they discover real mysteries. Interesting summer job. Uh, do you like me? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you rigged it. Mabel, <laughs> I think you're kind of overdoing genius. it with the crazy part. Genius. That's so funny. What? My name is Mabel. But you can call me the girl of your dreams. I'm Cute. Joking. A1. Oh my gosh, you like turtles? I like turtles too. What is happening here? <laughs> She's amazing. I What's love her. Not this guy. Take me with you. Girl. Brother, yeah, she got the shooting star on her. Mm -hmm. the Wait a minute. That... And there's a question mark logo on the wall. Yeah. Also. We're seeing the symbols everywhere. Yeah. But also, that's the shirt I always wear. My tree shirt. You know that shirt with one tree on it? Yeah. I should wear that. And I you bet totally I could, I should. Bet I, wait, I think maybe if It's people... like also the exact color scheme as Dipper's hat. Yeah. My hat? Not the hat you're wearing mm. right now, but there's a... A little bit You like have it. a hat that... I guess, yeah, actually. But the, the shirt with the tree on it is mm. the color scheme of the hat. I'll have to do a cosplay or something. Of the shirt in the background. Yeah. I need someone to go hammer up these signs in the spooky part of the forest. <laughs> the uh, spooky part. It. Nobody asked you, Seuss. I know. And I'm comfortable Seuss. with that. Wendy, I need you to put up this sign. Wendy. I would, okay. but I can't uh, reach it. I'd fire all of you if I could. Let's make it eeny, meeny, miny. You. Whenever I'm in those woods, I feel like I'm being watched. Ugh, this again. Just today, my mosquito bite spelled out beware. Oh. That says be warb. Oh the god. Whole monsters in the forest thing is just local legend drummed up by guys like me to sell merch to guys like that. <laughs> <laughs> so quit being so paranoid. Dude is sweating. All right. Spooky. So, what do we think's going on in this forest? Nobody ever believes anything I say. Oh. Cuz that thing that I was chasing That's was metally. Huge. Oh, metal. Hollow. Okay. Whoa. I like that. That's Even a very better. nice clicking. Even better. Okay. Oh. Great. Okay. Gross. With the triangle. Nice. And the hand. And the hand. Okay. Glad, I'm glad we, we saw that. that. <laughs> Are we just the same We're the brain? The same brain. Property of. It's hard to believe it's been six years since I there began studying mm -hmm. the strange and wondrous secrets of Gravity Falls, Oregon. Oh. Our okay. almanac. Cursed doors. Some of them look like the stuff from the store earlier. I must hide this book before he finds it. Remember, in Ooh. Gravity Falls, there is no one you can trust. And it was pointing yeah. at that same diagram on the right. Yeah. Some nerd thing? Let's go somewhere private. Maybe. Ooh. According to this book, Gravity Falls has this secret dark side. Whoa. The pages just stop. Like the guy oh. who was writing it mysteriously Ooh. disappeared. Time to spill the beans. That's not good. <laughs> this girl's got a, date. a joke you would make. <laughs> More joke I would make. She has a date. Okay. Okay, but let's discuss. What do we think okay. of this book? Okay. The book is very, very interesting. It seems to have been there a long time. But yet had the sophisticated enough tech to have an electronic door. Exactly. And it's been going on for so long that it was however long ago the book was and still happening now but people don't know about it so yeah that's ultra mysterious yeah and i wonder if that thing being out like summons the beasts or like oh something interesting with that. like and the thing that was after it what did it get stopped was it that like pyramid guy we saw in the beginning oh interesting like, i thought it was that shadow thing mm, could be i feel like we're not going to meet the main bad guy yet until like yeah. it feels like that it, like it feels like that's all gonna lead to that but like i feel like that might this might be henchman number one or something okay but how is it so large like in just hiding huh, we'll see very intriguing mm -hmm. lots of mysteries just dropped on us oh, coming! her delivery is incredible yeah what you reading there slick oh i was just catching up <laughs> slick. on uh, gold chains for old men magazine that's a good issue classic say hello to my new boyfriend. oh god Oh okay. my god. What is So, so what's your name? Uh normal. 
Batman! He means Norman. Oh. Are you bleeding, Norman? Oh. No, it's my God. Jam. <gasps> I love jam! Um, you want to go gold hands or whatever? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> go hold it. Oh, my God. This feels what like somebody happening? inhabiting a body. There was something about Norman that wasn't right. E yeah. Oh, for real? Really? There's the sign again. These creatures are often mistaken for teenagers. Beware, Gravity Falls is nefarious. Oh. Don't like that. Zombie! Zombie! Oh. Somebody say crombie? It's not even a word. It's in your mind. <laughs> Doesn't sound like anything else. Yeah, so. no. No words like that. I like you. Oh no, Mabel! Oh god. All right, what are we doing? A nice zombie. A daisy chain? Is my sister really dating a zombie? It's a dilemma to be sure. <laughs> my cook's <laughs> up, but over here you're talking aloud to yourself in this empty <laughs> room. I'm always noticing weird stuff in this town. Like the mailman? Pretty sure that dude's a werewolf. It's just a hairy man. Okay. But you gotta that'll, that'll have evidence. Yeah. Otherwise people are gonna think you're a major league cuckoo clock. Zeus! The portable toilets are clogged again! I am needed elsewhere. <laughs> I'm loving the music too. Yeah, it's, it feels very like cartoony. What I imagined as a kid. It's nostalgic, yeah. Yeah. And this is very like mid two thousands or yeah. mid two thousand tens, I think. Yeah. <laughs> the zombie hand. <laughs> That's funny. Is he maybe not a zombie and they're just having fun and he just has some like serious I, eye bags? I think it's a zombie. Check okay. You don't say normal man, you know? <clears throat> Maybe his name actually is Norman and he's just anxious. And was like, what would be the worst thing I could possibly say? Don't say normal man. Oh, God. Oh. You really think he was trying to say Norman and said normal man? I'm just trying to, like... Give benefit give of the, the doubt. Give the benefit of the okay. doubt. All because right. it... Maybe he's if, just... If the thought process of, oh, I think the mailman's a werewolf because he's, like, very hairy... Then is this guy just maybe like in need of eating some vegetables and going outside? I just can't and get over saying normal man. Okay, but do you ever have that situation where you're like, what would be the worst possible? Like, what should I not say right now? And then your I, brain I don't is know like, if I would do that on what's your name? <laughs> interesting. You know, I feel like that's such a okay, standard it's question. Definitely, it's pretty damning. It definitely does not look good. Yeah. I will give you that. But I'm not like. 100 percent yeah not 100 that yeah. that was being yeah. like deliberately shady yeah a gnome a zombie he never blinks have you noticed that maybe he's blinking when you're blinking <laughs> logical norman and i are going on a date at five o'clock and i'm gonna be adorable and i'm not gonna let you ruin it with one of your crazy conspiracies okay we'll see what ends up happening but feels like this might be a plot. Owl House crossover. Hey, Norman. <laughs> How do I look? Shiny. Also, the green bits seem like grass from the ground. I don't we'll have see. Any real evidence. I guess I can be kind oh. of paranoid sometimes. Hmm. Wait, what? That. <laughs> How did he miss that? I was right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Stand. Stand. He does have that on Here video we have too. Rock that looks like a face. Rock. The rock. That looks like a face. Are zombies Does able like to rock? reattach their limbs? <laughs> I'm sorry, we need to. We, I need to rehear the beginning of the show. What were we gonna say? Are zombies able to reattach their limbs? No, they typically okay. just lose them. But the, in this universe, it could easily be that if you're undead, rather than, like there's different rules. It, okay, it, sometimes. Cool. I would say sometimes. Does it look like a rock? No, it looks like a face. <laughs> Is it a face? It's a rock that looks like a face. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an actual face. It's not listening. We're alone. Yes. Alone. Stan! Wendy! I need to borrow the golf cart so I can save my sister from a zombie! Try not you to know what? Pedestrians. <laughs> All right. Hey, we love support. Oh, dude, it's me. This is for the zombies. Thanks. Great. This is in case you see a pinata. Uh, thanks? <laughs> Might come in handy for the zombies, too. But yeah, I think that's just a little excuse for there, yeah. Pinata. There's something I should tell you. You can tell me anything. Please be a vampire. Please be a vampire. <laughs> I think this is the guy who gets massive. Just keep an open mind. Be cool. It was gnomes. Is this weird? Is this too weird? You need to sit down. <laughs> so, That's how the hand fell off. Gnomes. First off. 
Oh, okay. You're right, maybe it wasn't a zombie. I'm Jeff. I'm sorry, I always forget your name. Shmebulok. Shmebulok. Yes. Shmebulok. That's funny. Looking for a new queen. All right. So what do you say? Will you join us in holy matronomy? Matrimony. Blah. I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You're really sweet, but I'm a girl and you're gnomes. We understand. We'll never forget you, Mabel, because we're going to kidnap you. Huh? Oh. <gasps> oh, yeah, they were drawn in a scary way in the book. Yeah. I feel like gnomes are scary in general. Really? Yeah. Mm, I didn't know that. I, t I tend you to think of them as... You didn't gnome that? I didn't gnome that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Also, where are they? <laughs> Not doing too much damage. Little men Weakness. Of the Falls Forest. Weaknesses unknown. Oh, come on! You think you can stop us, boy? You have no idea what we're capable of. Yeah, what can they do? Do not trifle with the- ah! <laughs> <laughs> The way he just scooped Stop. him like he was poo. That's so funny. <laughs> Wait, they all assembled into that giant correct. thing. Oh, fuck. That's what it was. They were oh, forming a giant no. version That's of how the guy. They did it. Oh, yeah, okay. because they were already assembling it. Just Maybe are, are all of the scary monsters just gnomes in different formations? Yeah, okay. Maybe it's just a huge army of just gnomes. Just a bunch. Of <laughs> you never know. We've got this whole book, but it's really just bunch of gnomes in a trench coat yeah but wow that was hilarious though but like that what was were they... really funny yeah and the way they weren't really doing any damage was really funny too yeah yeah but all right let's see <laughs> let's see the massive gnome thing <laughs> he gets to be on top because he's got the younger beard <laughs> Not i don't know about that hear. oh god oh. nice Their ratatouille moment. Yeah. I guess technically a Remy moment. But yeah. And it's ratatouille since it's all of them. <laughs> oh. Vicious. That's like. You gotta use a the bat. That's scary. <laughs> yeah. Shmab <laughs> <laughs> Oh Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. And he's dry. <laughs> oh, my God. The hat. Okay. Thanks, he seems okay. Mabel. No, just kidding. Yeah, she was. He was on there. It's like he seems fine. Oh my god. This oh. is where we were at the beginning. Okay. Okay. Oh. That's fine. And when they get back here, I bet nothing follows them for some reason. Like they'll have to uh, keep being like okay. or maybe not. There goes your All shovel. Right, so that didn't do anything. Oh my god. <gasps> Just try to look away. You can't. I can't even remember what I was talking about. Oh my god. Into the basement to your late. left? What? What? What's not? Dipper, just this once. Trust me. Maybe she's got a plan. All right, Jeff. I'll marry you. Hot dog. Help me down there, Jason. Thanks, Andy. Take out the leader, maybe? Oh. Huh? Huh? You may now kiss the bride. Well, he can't reach. Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh! Oh! Is that a vacuum cleaner? No, it was the... A, or a blow dryer. It was dryer. the, uh... It was the leaf blower from earlier. How is it reversing? She was working on that earlier. I guess it just has one on here. Interesting. Oh, gonna That's launch it at them. One, two, three! Nice. Very cool. Who's giving orders? I need orders! Exactly. My arms are tired. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my goodness wow okay so that was a great little scene okay, there very they fun. had their moment little innovation okay yeah what do we think of the gnomes the gnomes are scary a little weird but not like i'm not petrified i'm very very curious to see how they fit in with like the larger overall mystery yeah and i'm curious to see how long it takes for like Grunkle, um, sorry, Uncle Stan. Was it? They call him Grunkle Stan. I think so. Grunkle Stan to see how long it takes him to actually notice these creatures. Yeah. Like how long is it going to take before 
they actually turn around and look. Yeah, I feel like they sure. might play it for a while where it's just them. Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's see what they say. Guess I'm just sad that my first boyfriend turned out to be a bunch of gnomes. Could have been worse. Maybe the next yeah. one will be a vampire. Oh. <laughs> Awkward sibling hug? Awkward sibling hug. Pat, pat. <laughs> Yeesh, you two get hit by a bus or something? <laughs> Good one. Uh, hey! Gotta pay them. Wouldn't you know it, um, I accidentally overstocked some inventory. How's about each of you take one item from the gift shop on the house, you know? Oh. Really? I bet he takes a new hat. Oh. I will say I've seen this is the iconic Gravity Falls okay. hat. Okay, gotcha. And I will have a... Grappling hook! Ready for the next gnome attack. Yeah, that would be this handy for a gnome attack. No one in Gravity Falls I could trust. Oh, he's gonna continue writing in it. Okay. Hey, Mabel, could you get the light? Oh, Oop. great. That's not going to work. Well, our uncle told us there was nothing strange about this town, but mm. who knows what other secrets are waiting to be unlocked. Oh, oh. Maybe it's all a front and he actually does know. Interesting. Whoa. OK. So what was going on there? Secret room. It's fishing season. Fishing? What are you playing at, old man? You're gonna love it. That's normal family here. fun. Hail yeah. Fishy fishies, get into the pan. Shake trees. Oh. Ah. Uh, is this good? No. All right. Well, that was episode one of Gravity Falls. What do we think? Very cool. I'm really excited for this show. That was so fun. Yeah, the vibes. It, you know, I see why people think it's a good like Owl House alternative or Definitely. like the next step. Like it feels similar in terms of it. What would be funny in this universe is the same as the other, you know? 100%. Yeah. So I can't wait to see more. And if you are, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe down below and check out the Patreon link in the description below to see these episodes of Gravity Falls early in their extended full length forms. Um, we have a lot to discuss before we do that. Where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. We do three questions after every single episode of any show we watch, and we take those questions from the Patreon members. So if you want to ask us these questions, join the Patreon at any level, and we'd love to hear from you. For now, let's go to question one. These are all from people that I don't think we've ever had questions for. So, really? Yeah, these are all questions these questions. From? Questions from. Um, this is a whole new crowd. That, That's so fun. It, here, here's the thing. There is, I'm guessing, a population of people that watched Avatar and Gravity Falls, but did not watch She-Ra and Owl House. Interesting. Because a lot of people wanted Gravity Falls after Avatar. Okay. So this is something I think people are excited for. Great. Very cool. Um, question one. Big K asks, what do you think of our protagonist? Which one do you think you relate to more? And also, how do you feel about the show in general? Dipper and Mabel. I really love both of them. They seem like really fun characters to follow. They have a very cool dynamic. The idea of twins being so different um, is very fun to watch. Yeah. Um, I think I definitely relate more to Mabel. Yeah. Um, not for really any specific reason, just in general. Yeah, I really love both of them. I also love that it's not a sibling rivalry. Like, yes. finally, girl-boy siblings are friends. Literally. Like, I feel like it's typically the other way. Um, and I like that they already are like close enough to have their weird sibling hug at the end, mm -hmm. like, and that he was racing after her to go save her. Like, yeah. it's gonna be a great dynamic to see them like fully just teaming up this whole series. One hundred percent. Um, and then also, I really love I love Mabel and love what her, all of her like comedy was just constant mm -hmm. like really funny jokes like yeah. that were just like she has a very it almost reminds me of April from Parks and Rec, where it's oh, just, okay, she's yeah. kind of, do, she th everything that she's saying, she knows is funny to her and kind of doesn't really care what other people are thinking. Right. Like maybe she'll be, except for in the instance of boys, that might be one sort of weak spot for her. Mm -hmm. um, but for, in terms of who I relate to more, I kind of relate to Dipper. I, I like, in terms of like wanting to explore and stuff like that and like mm -hmm. wanting to understand, I guess I get that, but like, in yeah, that's the one I, if I had to pick one, I'd relate to more. But I do, I'm excited to see both of them together. I feel like they're great. Oh, and on the show in general, I mean, same things. It's just, it's it seems like there is definitely a darkness to be had within the show that they're going to reveal later. Mm -hmm. um, and just seeing like the micro expressions of it. It's just like Owl House in a way where like we're just seeing, you see little bits and they're just going to breadcrumb trail us to this really great plot. Totally. 
All right, let's go to question two. Question two. Impulsive Insomniac asks, broad question, what do you think about the journal in general, the details in it, the fact that someone took the time to truly study these supernatural happenings? What kind of person do you think would have such a draw to the supernatural that they would put their effort into making a detailed investigation of the whole town? My inclination is like a Jane Goodall of the magical world type. Who's Jane Goodall? Um, She was a scientist who um, basically went and lived with a bunch of orangutans for like a long time. I don't remember exact specifics of it, but she just like lived amongst them more than anyone ever had and documented their just like day to day interactions. And we learned so much. Um, So you think this person learned about it and then was like, I have to go study and it. And documented all of it. That was like the thing for Jane Goodall, was writing all of it down. Mm. Um, you know, it almost sounds like Philip Wittebane a little bit from... Uh, interesting. Does it not? Kind of okay. like these horrors that I found in the forest. Like, but yeah. then again, we did see directly that they attacked immediately. So, mm-hmm. without provoking. So that means maybe there was a little bit more of an element of truth to this journal. Yeah. But I, when you were, I hadn't thought of it till you were describing, like, sounds like somebody who was just writing down things and going to be immersed with it. And I was like, that kind of sounds like. Yeah, right? Because it, especially because of the way that, like, the entries were formatted and laid out, it seems like something that was, you know, added to over time very gradually and yeah. was not, was definitely, like, observation based. Yeah, um, and I'm interested to see why they had to leave and also how they discovered the intricacy of that, like, circle. Because there's so many parts to it. Like, yeah. I'm just wondering how we're going to be led down that. And then this leads me to a final question, which is a relation thing. It's a general question, but Mike OO asks, opinions on Grunkle Stan. So, okay. in terms of, I think he might be aware of some of this stuff, but oh, for also real? just thoughts in general. <laughs> um, okay, so... Let's start with prior to the final, like, 20 seconds. Yeah, before we had the big plot twist at the end, I was definitely getting kind of the, like, spacey, absent, but kind uncle. Like, yeah. he's, like, a good person, but just kind of not aware um, of anything. And then just generally the idea of someone who would run a tourist trap, the idea of making money off of deceiving naive people... Um, there's definitely a vibe that's associated with that. Yeah. Um, and not a great one. Yeah. But it also is a fantastic kind of diversion slash explanation, almost like a yeah. money a laundering, but for magic it type situation. Like a cover. Yeah. Exactly. And I think it, it provides this anon- anami- anonymity. Anonymity. Anonymity, right. anonym, anonymity to uh, the stuff that he's up to because mm-hmm. potentially if there's all this crazy stuff happening in the area, a way to dispel those rumors is to come out front and make up discounted versions of them to like throw people off and make it think, oh, it's just a tourist trap. Like there's nothing really going exactly. on there. When in reality, there's like a lot going on yeah. and maybe it's dependent on less people going there, you know? Yeah, well, because that's the last place he would check. Yeah, so I wonder... What exactly? So moving past that. So the initial uh, interactions, like he seems funny, kooky, just typical Mm -hmm. like uncle figure. Um, But after in that last 20 seconds, like the way he was so serious and did that, it's clear he's just kind of acting that way. And I wonder what he's got down there. Perhaps he maybe it didn't it didn't mention a partner within the book. Mm -mm. So I wonder whether he kind of just discovered the same stuff on his own. And I wonder how long it's going to take for them to realize that one, um, Dipper has the book and two, that Stan has that secret spot. Yeah. Very Lots to discover about this series, but mm-hmm. we're off to a great start. Thank you for watching. And are we excited for episode two of Gravity Falls? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.